Hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So we're still adding pages here. And what we want to do is um, make sure that when we click here, we actually get to a valid page. Okay, so right now it doesn't work because we don't have that system yet. But let's go back to our plugin again. And, uh, and this time I want to go to the plugin.php. This is the basic pages plugin, right? So in the plugin.php here, where everything basically happens, we want to look at the view part here. Okay, so we want to add a view here. Oh, yeah. So in the view, let's remove that so that we have a proper view thingy here. Now it will show or create a view of the page, um, whatever page we request here. So let's say, so this is the admin section, but we want to deal with the front end. So there's a front end and view file, which is right there. Okay. So let's make use of that view file. So I'm going to say if page is equal to now we don't we are not going to use these if statements because we want to be able to load if you look at the link of the page here it's just the website link and then the text about us because that's the format we want we don't want to put slash something slash and then about us but you can do that if you want uh, using the plugin URL for example you can say a page should appear, let's say plugin dot plugin php dot com or something, and then slash page and then slash the the slug of the page. But in our case, we just want uh, after the dot com to slash and then the actual page that we want. So in this case, all we have to do is read from the database and then find out if there's any slug that matches that and then we know we are good to go. So here, let me mute this for a second. And then here, I'm going to say uh, something like, uh, let's grab from the URL. I'm going to do DD like that and do URL. I want to grab the, um, actually it's page, right? This is true. So page like that. Okay. Now, keep in mind that in the config, this thing really runs on every page. So it will be ready to listen to whatever page you load. In this case, you see the about us actually works because we have that to echo. So about us right there. But let's try and find this content in. So we're looking for this slug in the database itself. So all we need to do is instantiate our page class. So let's do that over here and then let's get a slug. So we're just going to get it directly from there, right? So what I would do is try to read from the database. So I'll say row is equal to, okay. And in this case, we say page. We just want to grab the first result. And in there, we're looking for the slug and that slug will come from page function like so. All right. So great. So if we did find something, right, we say if row like this, then only then do we load our view file. This one not going to the admin, it will go to the front end. And then there's a view.php here. So we say view.php like so. Pretty good. Now, if we load the view.php, it means we did find something. So expect this row variable to be there. So I'm going to copy that and let's go to the view file right here. So this will just show us the basic thing that we see when, which says this is a plugin. But instead of saying this is a plugin, we want to echo what's in the row title because we know title will always exist. So let's do that. So if I come back here and now refresh the page, we should see about us instead, which is great, right? Now, if I try to type something that does not exist, we get page not found as we should. So if I go back here, 
let's go back to the about us if i click on that there we go we get about us like that which is cool if we had a different page we would get different information so let's try that out immediately so i'm going to add this and say contact us instead so we get the contact us page like so and of course we are not going to add anything but we may want to say this is the contact us page something like this just so we have some content right so i'm just going to save this let's hit save record saved successfully and now we have a contact us page here so let's go back to uh, let's go right here and let's click on that and there we go we have contact us but the content isn't showing because that's not what we are showing here but we can do that just like this and let's put that over here we say content oops now it's always a good idea to escape these but you will probably not get hacked because only the admin of the page creates pages like this only the owner of the website so you wouldn't want to hack yourself because that doesn't make any sense okay so this is the contact page <clears throat> right if we try about us it has no content so you don't see any content there and the contact us there it is very good so things are working out as intended but the page shouldn't probably look like this it should have a very specific design so this is where templates will come in we will have uh, different designs for different um, page types so we can have a user change which template to use uh, to change the view right so for now what i'm going to do is just uh, remove this black thingy here so we can have our CSS over here and our JavaScript and have this here. So let me remove the max width here. In fact, let me just remove all these uh, styles over here. We can use bootstrap classes. Let's use bootstrap classes. So I'm going to do, let me just say this is a row. And at the same time, I would say column, medium, and then I'll make something like 10. Mm -hmm. uh, the title page title can be in the center or not uh, maybe we can move this center thingy the content shouldn't probably be centered either so let's do that but let's add some padding here let's do p4 like that okay so let's see if um, yeah so that's what we get but i want mx auto on this so it's in the center of itself let's add maybe a shadow as well let's see what we get okay so we have something like this contact us and then the page content here very cool so let me go back here and say about us and there we go all right, so that's how pages uh, are going to react when we click to them, but let's add more in the next video.